Okay, this is the back of the third page. And for this one, I just put a border at the top. And this is a 5x7 mat. And I'm going to just glue this to the bottom. It's a real plain, simple page. I'm going to glue all of mine down, but you can not if you want to so that you can get your picture in there. And first I'm going to glue the, the top. Then I'm going to glue this mat. Not real tight because I may add a picture and then mat it or something, but it's not going anywhere, so it's okay. And just kind of center it. Just barely leave a border at the top, like a fourth of an inch. And depending on see that that one's sticking over, so I need to trim that off. And, that edge right up. and then this one is, says, I'm going to my happy place and I'll never be back. So, I think that's kind of Center this. There. That's pretty straight. And then put this down, and I'm just going to put this down with some ATG tape so that I can move it when I get ready to put a picture in there. So, it's just going to fit right here. And I did mount both of those on some whoops, tape. On some tape, on some chipboard. So that Straighter would be good. My issue with straight working with at an angle with these things.
again I'm going to put, I have the chipboard on the back, and I'm going to put some adhesive down this so that I can take it up when I need it. And this is this way to pair it eyes. So it'll just be so it's a little longer, so it'll be just a little bit wider on this page. And that's those two. And now we're down to this one, which is this. Oh, yeah, everything. My sack has a hole in it. Out. This is my anchor, another anchor. And I put this in there because I used cut a bunch of little pieces and put chipboard on them. And now, of course, the sack's all torn. So throw it away. A tag and another tag. This, if you can see that, let me put it down here. You can see what I'm doing. It's an anchor. I'll put it on this side. And these little tab things. It's something from another project that somehow got itself attached in here. And another anchor. This says Waves Mermaid. It's a little tab that's going to stick out. And another anchor. And another little tab. So, this is the top of this page. And it's going to fit just almost right up here to the top, maybe like a half an inch down so that it'll flip up. And it is probably it was about 10 inches by 4 and 3 fourths. And I cut this border, you can see that, on my Cameo. But you can use your spellbinders or things like that. If you want it down just enough so that it's probably about oh, a fourth of an inch from the top, from the bottom of the page. And then what we'll do is this will be stuck down. I scored it. Oh, I should have, let me tell you a different measurement because this is going to be ten and a half and then you score it a half an inch. So this was probably uh, ten and three-fourths by the time you cut the edge off. So this is going to be ten and a half and then you're going to score it half an inch and put your score tape here. And then it'll you're going to center it and place it about a fourth of an inch from the bottom. And then I have this is going to be filled up here and I have a um, this is going to be a Four by four. It's a four and three fourths by four right here that'll cover up this fold. And then this is going to be a five by four and a half. Four and a half. Yep, four and a half. And this is four and three fourths by four. So then that will go there and then we'll decorate with what's left over here in this pile. So the first thing, oh and then we have these which I, these three by four pocket cards and I put the chipboard on the back and this will go right here on the, the cover of this and then the anchor will go, it probably will just go so that everything's kind of centered. This will be off center a little so the anchor can sit there on it. So, the first thing I want to do is get this put on, so I'm going to peel off my score tape. And, oh, it's hanging on my, oh, there's magnets on this. I put a red enamel dot and the magnet, and the other magnet, the attachment for the magnet will go underneath this spot right here probably. We'll 
see where it'll go. I haven't decided yet. So we're going to put this just about in the center. So this comes down about a fourth of an inch. Anchor and put on with just some um, glossy accents, just kind of because it's slower to dry. And I can just, I'm going to put it in between the chains. Then I have this, and <clears throat> now I have this card, which is this small card. I'm going to go up here and just cover the top of the, of the, where I put the score mark. The score line is right here, and so this is going to be long ways, and it's just going to be maybe a sixteenth of an inch down from there, so that it won't um, interfere when this flap closes. I want to make sure that it doesn't stick out, and then this will be right here. This one down just enough because I can't get my magnet on the, my magnets on there. I'm going to have to lift it up and put it underneath this, which is not hard to do. I'm going to put this down, and then I had
can't remember which one I put on there. So we can do this one and glue it down. down that low because I don't want it sticking out. This one I've already put the magnet and I had a little circle right there, so I put it on. And now I have to find a circle for that one. Let's see if it's big enough for the magnet. Yep. So this is just a little this is more like an oval. Let's see if there's a circle. the accents on this. These magnets are really, really strong. The sailboat needs to go this way. You can even put a picture on this if you want to. I just... can get a lot of pictures in these albums. So, now what I want to do is see if I can get this off and put my magnet underneath. Sometimes it's really nice and it'll lift for you. been down long enough to get good and set. So I probably am going to have to use um, some. Let me get this unstuck and then I'll come Okay, so I had to take this oh, it's going to be taped. This loose from the, the base of it and I put Zoom in so you can see that. I have a circle magnet or piece of tin that is used like a magnet. It's about three fourths of an inch. And I put score tape on the back and peel it off and then just score tape over it. And I'll peel it off when I get, um, when I put this back down. But I put it down and I made sure that it's going to click when I do it. And clicks so it has plenty of room and uh, now I'm going to pull this tape off if you can see me pulling this tape off right here and I just cut out circles with my Tim Holtz scissors on this um, it's actually roofing circles that they use and I'm going to put, because I've had to take this up with some remover, I'm going to put a uh, quick dry 
on this and around here to make sure it goes on smoothly and gets on all these corners. Fred and I have been walking every night, and it's just like you take a bath out there because the humidity is 110%. I want to make sure this is down and stuck good. So, it is. That isn't what this is. There. Since I had to disrupt him. And then this is what going to look like and then it'll flip up. Be in good shape. We'll do the other one just a second.